Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're back on the Valhelsia world. You can see I have this nice drill in front of me, and we did that in the last episode, made the drill. Now, this uses biodiesel, and we make biodiesel from the refinery, which is behind me here. It uses plant oil from the squeezer to the right. You can see it's kind of pressing down plant seeds to squeeze out plant oil. And on the other side, on the left there, we have an industrial fermenter, which is taking the potatoes to make ethanol, which is making our biodiesel for our drill. And this is fantastic. So that with this tool, I'm able to go ahead and do lots of mining. You can see that in the uh, previous video, how I worked with that. And that is awesome. So now that we have some ways to get mining and we're gonna get resources pretty fast, I really need to get into storage because right now I have a bunch of chests, even though I just started this series, I already have too many chests filled with stuff and I don't know where things are. And that's always happens with me. I always never know what things are. We have wood in here. I usually call this bottom chest here wood. You see it's got wood stuff, but look, there's some wood here. You know, wood pieces and machinery parts and things. Just, it's all over the place. So we're going to try today to work on getting a storage system using the refined storage mod, which is in this pack. So we're going to start off and we're going to do this kind of segmented out. Instead of just doing like progress updates, we're going to try to do each little portion of this puzzle because there's actually distinct pieces that we need to do. So the first one we're going to work on, okay, you ready for this? We're going to work on the heat generator. This is a generator that just passively generates energy based off of heat, which we're going to use lava for to generate the heat. And you can see here it takes uh, three iron, some wood, osmium ingot, ingot, copper ingots, and a furnace. So most of this we have already. I have iron here. I do have some copper. We do have to get some osmium. We have an osmium ore there, so let's put that in here. There we go, it'll cook that up pretty quick. We need some wood, which I said I had wood right here, right? Yeah. And we need to make a furnace, so let's grab some cobble. I already have some cobble on me. See, that's what I mean, the storage, just kind of crazy. So let's go over here, let's make a furnace. There we go. And let's make the heat generator. Okay, now that we have this, I need to get this place someplace where I want to put my storage um, unit, and it's going to be a crafting thing, so I'm going to put it right over here. So let's make some space. Now, the way the heat generator works based on the lava, I want to have it kind of behind here, okay? So I'm going to put the drive bay on this square and the crafting grid on the back of that. So behind that will be the, the sprite space right here will be the controller, and so behind that, I want to have the heat generator. That's the uh, plan right there. Okay, and that is the output point for the energy. So that will go into the uh, controller, which we'll make in a minute. And so what I want to do here then is I want to make some space behind here. And like I said, this uses lava as a passive uh, generation of heat. I'm going to get in here so I can walk in. So, oh, hey, hello. There's some zinc. I don't know why I'm not using my drill for this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, see, we're getting resources. It's great. <laughs> we'll fill this all in with some cobble here. All right. And this space here, we're going to go get some lava. I would like to put in... When I did this in a test world, I had two lava sources. But, you know, it doesn't matter. I can put five. So I'm just going to go get some lava and start placing them in here. So this heat generator will be working correctly. So uh, let's go grab some lava down in the mines. One. Two. Two. Three, four, and finally we have five. There we go. And we can then just cover this up. It doesn't matter. That way we don't have any lava like getting us. That'd be kind of cool. But you can see here it is generating some uh, energy and it's putting that into its internal energy buffer. So that is fantastic. This thing is just a passively generating energy. Now this is just a temporary solution. When we eventually make an entire energy grid for this whole base and everything, this won't be being used. But for now, I want this to be used for this particular piece of the puzzle, which is for the storage system, okay? So there we go. I also want us down there mine a couple more resources, of course. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that in a second. Let's move on. The main piece of the refined storage is the controller, and we need to build this next. Now this has some things that we don't have yet, so we're gonna go through this really quick. We need to make quartz enriched iron. If you look at this, it takes quartz. So that means we have to go to the nether. So we're gonna be doing that, I think, next. To get silicon, it's just quartz in a furnace. So the quartz again. So we can see that's kind of a big thing. 
Um, here is a machine casing. Again, it takes, looks like polished slate or any other like rock material or stone and this quartz enriched iron. Again, that's taking quartz. And then finally, we have this advanced processor. And if you look at this, this is kind of interesting. It does take diamonds and redstone. And again, this is silicon, which is quartz and processor binding, which is just slime balls and string, okay? So it looks like the main problem we have for this whole process right now is getting enough quartz and of course some iron. We're gonna get some more iron too. So let's start to try to figure out how to make a uh, portal. Let me go get uh, some sleep. <laughs> it's always dark when I do this. Let's go get some sleep and let's go get some obsidian and see if we can get some more diamonds too because we're gonna need diamonds and uh, build a nether portal. Found some diamonds, let's see. Let's drill this out here. Looks like it is a four blocker. So we'll just go hit this on the top. There we go. Oh, we got some more. And that's actually the first diamonds I've made on this server, which is awesome. So excellent. Okay, let's see if we get some more iron because we're going to need a lot more iron than what we have. I've mined up some obsidian with the drill. It's a little tricky, but it does work. So I have a water source here. I'm going to do like one block, but maybe two blocks in. And I'll just hit this like this. You can see it slowly brings the progress bar up. And with this, then it will hopefully give me some obsidian. You can kind of see what happened there. It all got transferred over into obsidian from the water source. And I have 17 obsidian, which will be plenty for what we need. Uh, and this way I did not have to make the any diamond pick. I still have my eight diamonds for other things, which is really nice. So this drill with the drill head that I put on it works great to get obsidian. Let's go back and make the obsidian uh, into a portal. The portal is built. I built it off a ways from where my base is. You can see that it's over there. I wanted to make it far enough away that if anything comes through, I have a little bit of space to defend the area and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, let's go into uh, the nether and see if we can find some quartz. Okay, it looks like we're in this biome. I can't remember what it's called. I gotta look on here to see the warped forest. We're at the corner of a warped forest, it looks like. And that's kind of cool. And I don't have any gold on me, so I gotta be careful that I don't get like anybody of those uh, piglins uh, who uh, get me. So let's just keep walking around here. I'm gonna look for some quartz really quick. And it might be on some of these walls of netherrack. There's some quartz. Let's get the drill going. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. Easy pickings here. There we go. The more that we have, probably the better. So let's just start mining this out. And already we have 13 pieces of quartz. I need to get some more. So I'm gonna go around just for a little bit and uh, just pick up some quartz and then head back. I'm back from the nether. I was able to get some nether quartz, so that's looking good. Now we need to start building this thing up and we're gonna do this a little bit uh, in kind of a weird order. I gotta make some uh, silicon. So we're gonna do maybe four pieces here and that'll cook that up. That is the silicon that we need for these spots here, okay? We're gonna need four quartz enriched iron and the machine casing takes actually another eight more. So we need a total of 12 of that. So we're going to do that over here. It would take this and uh, three of these should give us that. We have the 12 and probably we could go right now and make that machine casing just by putting this piece in there. There it is, we have the machine casing. That was really easy. Now we have all of the silicon here. We're gonna grab some of that. I know it's gonna make some more here. The other pieces we need here, the three silicon, we got the four of this. We just gotta make this advanced processor. And if we look here, we need to make a processor binding. There we did that, because I have the string and the slime balls on, on me already. And all we need to do then is to make this processor. We have a diamond zombie, redstone zombie, and we already grabbed the silicon. So we'll make one of those. And that needs cooked. Let me grab this one out of here and we'll cook this one up. And just like that, we should have the controller uh, just have all the waiting for this one piece to cook up. Now this controller is the main uh, piece for the refined storage system. You have to have it. And so we're gonna make this right now. Here it is right there, controller. And you can see we got an advancement for the refined storage. And when I put this against this uh, heat generator, you can see it starts to like glow red a little bit, which means, hey, I'm getting power and it's slowly draining it, uh, the heat controller's uh, internal buffer and getting powered for its system. So this is the main component for the entire refined storage. Now that that's in there though, I don't care about seeing the wall behind it. Okay, so we're just gonna do like this. And I guess I could probably cover this up. You know, we don't even, we can just forget about it. The disk drive, this is the next piece that we need to make and you can see it's pretty similar to what we have already done. We have this right here, which is the machine case, and we know that how to make that pretty quick. We need some more quartz enriched iron. Nate need a chest, and then we need to make another advanced processor. This should be very easy to work with, so let's start making some of this right now. 
Okay, we're going to do, I think, four of these. And we'll do four of these. That should get a 16 quartz enriched iron. We know that to make the machine casing, it just takes any stone, even diorite or andesite or anything along with the quartz enriched iron. So we have that piece. Then we also need to make this advanced processor. And if you recall, it takes all of these pieces here. We're missing a piece of uh, silicon. So we'll go over here and put it in a piece of quartz and we'll get that in a second. We also need a chest and I think, I think I've got a chest right here. So we'll grab that. Okay, get this quartz cook up. And there it is, now we have that. So let's go back to disk drive. We need to make one of these processors. There that is, we'll cook that in the furnace so that it makes the processor itself. And I think we have everything else. Let's just double check. Yeah, this is what we're missing. So this will get done here in just a second and we'll have the disk drive. Disk drive is fairly easy to make as you can see. So let's do that here. Here it is. And we're gonna put it in front of this controller. Okay, so we're going to place it right here and it will have power and it will work with the controller and it's pretty cool. Now, this is a disk drive. You put disks in here and it holds all of those disks and that is your storage portion of the system. This is where the stuff gets stored. So we're going to work on the storage disks next and these have different levels. There's 1K, there's 4K, 16K and 64K. Now, typically... I like to use 4Ks. I don't like to use 64. You would think that these are better, but they store in a way, it's kind of hard to explain, but they only store a certain amount of a certain type of item. So let's say you have like wood is a type and cobblestone is a type. So this would um, only store a certain amount of types, but it stores a lot of that type. Whereas these um, store uh, not as much, but you have the same amount. So I'd rather have lots of disks like this, I think, 4K. So we're gonna work on making the 4K storage disk, okay? So the 4K storage disk here, it just takes some uh, some glass, some redstone, and some quartz enriched iron, but it takes this 4K storage part. We're gonna have to build this, and this is uh, kind of like one of these rabbit holes here. You do this piece right here, the 4K, and you can see it takes some things. We don't know how to make it, but we will, and some 1K storage part. We need to get three 1K storage parts, okay? So let's work on that first, and you can see it's gonna take, for each one of those, it's gonna take some glass, which we gotta make, but we're gonna need uh, four pieces of silicon. So that's gonna be what, 12 pieces of silicon. So let's start that cooking up right now. And there we have 12. We'll put it down in this furnace, start cooking that. We're also gonna need some glass and I'm hopeful that I have some glass or some sand. We have a little bit of sand. We may have to go get some sand really quick to make some more glass. This is why we need a storage system because I'm looking all over for stuff that I just don't have. Um, I'm gonna get some glass real quick and cook that up so we can make this and we'll continue on in a sec. For this next step, we need a nine pieces of glass. So we got that, the silicon is done. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to the 1K part. We need three of these, okay? And we should see three there. So there we go, we have three of those. Now we're gonna make those into one 4K part. And you can see that it takes all of these things and we're missing the basic processors. So we're gonna make this now. The basic processor is very similar to the one we had before with choose the diamond, except for this one uses iron. And so we need to make four of these. So uh, do we have everything on us? We need more of the silicon probably. Yes, we do. We need, I think, what, three more, four more? At least one piece. <laughs> we'll get that really quick. And so then once we make, actually we need four of those, don't we? Never mind. two, three, four. But basically when you make that, you'll see here, you take the silicon piece you go over, you can do it in a regular thing, but it takes iron and redstone and the silicon and then a processor binding and it makes a raw basic processor. So we will uh, cook that up here in another furnace while we get these other pieces here. See, we're making them up here, make these processors. It's pretty basic stuff. And now this is done. We can see we have four basic processors. They're all ready to go. We go back here. We're gonna make the 4K storage part and there we have a 4K storage part. That is used in the 4K storage disc. So we have this disc here. You can see it takes those pieces, some quartz enriched iron, some glass and redstone. We should have all that. We're missing one quartz enriched iron. So let's make another set of four of that. There we go. And we have the 4K storage disc. Now we go back over here to the disc drive and all you do is you put this disc in here and it says we've got 4K of storage and that's fantastic. We have this all set up and it's ready to go. You can see we got a blue light that means it's pretty much empty. 
If you have a yellow light means it's getting close to full. Red light means it is full. Okay, so now we have storage. We need to work on the next piece of the puzzle. It is time to make the crafting grid. Now this crafting grid is kind of different and I'll show you how to make this. But first we need a crafting table. We need the advanced processor. We can make these pretty easy and then we make the grid. So let's make this advanced processor again and we know how to do that. It is just a one of these. I got another piece of silicon. So we'll do that. I'll have to cook that up and then we'll have that piece. Okay, let's go back into here while that's cooking up and look at the other parts here, the grid. Now the grid itself, it's just glass again another one of these machine casings and quartz enriched iron. We can make all of those. Okay, that's easy. Improved processors. These are the same processor recipe, but it uses gold. Well, that's easy. We know we have gold, so we will be able to make that kind of fast. The other pieces though here, the construction core and destruction core are a little bit different. This one takes glowstone dust. So we'll have to go to the nether and get some glowstone because I didn't pick any up. And then this one over here, the destruction core takes quartz and a basic processor. So let me go get some glowstone and uh, start making these components up and we'll build this pretty quick. Drill out some glowstone, grab some glowstone dust. Hopefully we can get some more here. There we go, let's go back to base. So I've made a couple of these in advanced here. We have the advanced processor, the improved processor and the basic processor. And these are all look the same. This is just diamonds. This is takes gold and this takes just iron. But we need to use these basic processors to make these other pieces here, the construction core and the destruction core. These are pretty easy though. Construction core, it just takes a basic processor with glowstone dust. And there that is. And the other one we need is the destruction core, which takes the basic processor and quartz, which we have there. Okay. So with all of that, we should have enough with the glass uh, to make this first piece, which is just a regular grid. And the regular grid, all it does is allow you to uh, access the, I need more sand here, more glass. Um, it allows you to access the storage here. The crafting grid, which is what we're making here, allows you to also use it as a crafting table. Um, I need to make a crafting table, so we have that in our inventory, there we go. And I need to make another machine casing, which we need some more quartz enriched iron. Oh no, it looks like I'm out of iron. I am out of iron, guys. Oh, this is just terrible. Right at the last second, I run out of resources. This is crazy. Let's see if I can, can I make the regular thing? No, I can't even make this. I'm missing making, missing the machine frame and I need more iron. Um, I need at least uh, eight uh, or no, six iron to make what I need. And I don't have any, do I have any in here. Is there any iron ore? Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go back down to the mine and mine up some more iron. Here's some more iron. Mine that out with the drill. There we go. Okay. And now we can head on back up. That should be plenty for what we need to make. So let's grab that. Let's make some quartz enriched iron. Remember, it takes three iron and a quartz to make that. There we go. Okay. Let's go back here. We're going to try to make this machine casing. And there that is. And now we'll go back to the actual grid. And we should have everything on us now with all the glass and all of the various processors to make the grid. And then all we need is the grid. We need to have the advanced processor and a crafting table to make a crafting grid. There we go. We've got a crafting grid. We're going to put it on top of this. Now, because you see how it turned on blue right away, the controller is kind of sharing connections through the drive bay. Now, the nice thing about this is, is that we have this right here is access to the storage system. This area is access to the crafting grid. And we, of course, we have our own stuff here. So I will sit here and put some cobblestone in. And now you can see it says we have 128 cobblestone. You can put all these resources in and it just kind of knows what's going on. See that? And we can access all of this from this one location. Now, I usually change some of these right away. So we're going to see. I want display to be normal. I want to have sorting direction. I like this as descending. So basically, it's telling us the most items we have will be, of course, in the top. And as it gets lesser items, it'll come down in the list. Um, we're sorting by quantity. That's good. And I hit this to uh, JEI synchronize. So now when I look for something, let's say I want to make look for a... Uh, a chest, I type C-H-E-S-T, and it's looking through and searching through the so the uh, storage system for that if we have any items, but it also searches it up here so that I could then grab it and put it into this particular here. I can even make a chest and there it is in the storage system. So I like that, that's kind of nice a tool to have. So now we can just go ahead and start to dump everything from here, all of these chests into here. This will be a lot of fun. Maybe I should do this as a quick Time lapse.
Well, we've encountered a problem. Look at all this stuff here. It didn't fit. We filled up the 4K disc. That's incredible. So I'm going to have to uh, get another chest out of here and put some of this stuff back. <laughs> and then we're going to have to like make another 4K disc. I don't want to lose my stuff, so i got to kind of start to pump this into here real quick here. And uh, I guess I guess I don't have enough storage. That's why we need to make the more discs. So I'm going to do that right now. Make three 1K storage parts. There we go. Make the 4K storage part. There we go. And now we made the 4K storage disc. Looks like we need another piece of coarse enriched iron and a piece of glass. Coarse enriched iron is very easy. The glass, uh, do we have another piece? I have to get a one piece of sand. I think I got to go get one piece of sand. Unbelievable, guys. Oh, look, there's some sand. <laughs> there we go. We'll cook that up and make some glass. Now I have the glass. Come back over here. We need to make the 4K storage disc. This is right here. Grab it and put it there. There we have the disc. And now I put it into the disc drive. And you can see when I do that, it has lots of more space. And finally, we can go back in and start putting this stuff like this. There we go. I want my drill. I just put my drill in there by accident. Okay. And what I did before, and I was just kind of show you what I did in the time lapse there. We did this. I just basically put all these pieces. And I stand in the mess here. And as I stand in the mess, it will just pick up items. And you can see the items just going into our uh, storage system like that. And there you have it. We have a lot of space. Oh, no, there we don't have it. <laughs> Some more stuff got lost. There we go. Now everything is here. Everything's in the storage. You can see I've got a lot of cobble, but I've got everything I need in one spot. I don't have to worry about anything anymore. This is the storage system that'll work great. Now, remember, it's powered just by that heat source that's behind here. And that is not going to be the power system for the base. But it will work for this for right now so that we have an access to a storage system that uh, works fantastic for us and is better to find things in this area. Also, it opens this area up for some little stuff. Alrighty, I think this has been a very fun to work with. This has been a fun video to create. I've tried to do a little bit of a different style. I hope you like it. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to be when I edit it. So hopefully it's around 20 minutes, which is usually my target. Uh, if it's not, if it's a little shorter, well, that's good. And if it's longer, I apologize for that. We'll just see how it goes when I uh, get to editing. But anyway, guys, I sure hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. Click, click. Click. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section, like first. Yep, I know who you are. And uh, if you would please subscribe to this uh, channel, that'd be great. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.